Battles of America, Ticonderoga. On April 19, 1775, the Battles of Lexington and Concord ended. The Colonials followed the British back to Boston and laid siege on the city with a low supply of cannons, firearms, and artillery, all things that Fort Ticonderoga had in ample supply. The fort was located about 200 miles northwest on the shores of Lake Champlain, but was unfortunately controlled by the British. Fort Ticonderoga was built to control the waterways between Canada and the Hudson River Valley. In the 1763 Treaty of Paris, however, the British gained full control of the North American territories, which rendered Ticonderoga strategically unimportant to them. The fort was now used to store weapons and ammunition with very minimal protection. Benedict Arnold, a militia captain who was familiar with the condition of the fort, gained approval to conduct a secret mission to overtake Ticonderoga and ship any useful ammunition back to the American Continental Army. While recruiting the necessary men in Massachusetts, he learned that Ethan Allen, leading the Green Mountain Boys, was already on his way north. When they met, they argued over who was going to lead the attack, but eventually compromised and agreed to attack okay. together. At dawn on May 10, 1775, Benedict Arnold and Ethan Allen began their attack on Fort Ticonderoga. They quietly crossed the waters of Lake Champlain and swiftly crept up the hill to the base of the fort. To their amazement, the door was left wide open, where only one sleeping guard was on duty. Upon waking, the guard tried to take a shot, but his musket malfunctioned and he ran away. Arnold and Allen swiftly infiltrated the fort, and the sleeping British soldiers awoke to gunpoint and were forced to relinquish their arms. Lieutenant Jocelyn Feltham demanded to know on whose authority the fort was being entered, to which Ethan Allen replied, in the name of the great Jehovah and the Continental Congress. Shortly after, British Captain William de Laplace surrendered his sword. Arnold and Allen had successfully taken over the fort without ever firing a shot. With the capture of Ticonderoga, Henry Knox was able to successfully transport the much-needed armaments back to Boston where the Continental Army, just two months later, triumphed over the British and forced their evacuation. Without Ticonderoga, the Continental Army would have most undoubtedly lost the siege. If you enjoyed this video and all of our videos, please consider a tax-deductible donation so we can keep the whole thing free for you. I'm Dr. Duke. Thanks for watching.